What makes the Bay of Fundy a special place to hunt for fossils is its huge tides. They're the largest in the world. In just six hours, 100 billion tons of water drain half a mile out to sea. These massive tides constantly erode the cliff face, making it the perfect place for exposing new fossils. We came to Nova Scotia to look at these orange rocks. This area we hit really hard. We had our eyes to the rocks, we had our collecting bags and our rock hammers, and we were ready to fill them with, with bones. Uh, the challenge is we didn't fill them with bones. Uh, we didn't find much of anything. And really our luck was to change because of events in town. So the breakthrough came when the president of the local Lions Club invited us to be judges for the town's beauty contest. The problem was, in judging the contest and in the celebration afterwards, we stayed up way too late in the evening. And that late night reverie had consequences the next day. So the next morning, got up too late. It was high tide. And the tides are just so huge here, what happens is the tide will lap up against the rocks. And what we found is we were stuck. We were surrounded by dark volcanic rocks formed from hot lava flows. Nobody in their right mind would hunt for fossils in a place like this. It was a beautiful day, so we, you know, we skipped rocks. Rocks weren't the best in the world for skipping. My buddy Bill had disappeared. Then I heard his voice. He's like, Neil, you might want to come over here and take a look at this. I'll never forget those words as long as I live. Well, what happened was Bill was at this point, and what he had discovered was that inside these basalt boulders lie seams of this brown sandstone. And within this brown sandstone were bones. As we chipped away at the rock, we uncovered countless fossils. There were leg bones, teeth, even whole jaws. This site yielded thousands of pieces of bone from a momentous period in our history. We found loads of things, but the real gem is in here. What you're seeing here is a, an upper jaw. There's a canine tooth and a series of other smaller tooth behind it. These 200 million year old teeth belong to a creature called a trithelodont. It may look like an insignificant little animal, but it is unlike anything alive today. Now what we have here is really a unique kind of animal with a unique mix of features. Part reptile, part mammal. We see it in its skull, in its jaws, in its limb bones virtually every feature of its anatomy. This is the kind of animal we dream of finding in the fossil record. Trithelodonts are on the cusp of the transition between reptiles and mammals. 